everybody, it's Sam the Mixed Up Craft and thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun faceted gift box. Um, I've made faceted lots of boxes before. Faceted just means something with many many sides, which is what this has. Um, so I've just played around with score lines and come up with this style. Um, yours will not have these lines here, although they don't look bad. They just look like they're part of the design. Um, because I was playing around, um, I thought that they would make another kind of fold, another kind of, um, you know, kind of folding in or out, and they didn't do anything. So um, that's why they're there. Um, it's using one whole piece of 12 by 12 right to the end, so there is no tab. So we're going to make a tab to create this join here. So I've got a nice, smooth, um, seamless join there, and that's on the back. And then at the front, it opens up like so and you've got a really strong box. It's got four, ooh, it's got four layers on the bottom. So again, this is perfect for a candle or a nice um, bottle of perfume or just fill it with sweets <laughs> or anything else. Um, and then it closes really nicely there with the lid. And I think it's a great box. So I'm using my Paper Mania um, Colossal Capsule Colours uh, paper pack for the card and then this here is part of the Wonderlust collection by First Edition. So pop that to one side. I'm going to be using again the same papers from that same pack. So they've got all these foils on, the Wonderlust ones. Um, and again it's just beautiful. So um, if you're using pattern paper as your back then you probably may not want all these pieces that I've cut out. You may just end up doing just the piece on the top. So you can make this much, much quicker um, if you want. So whatever paper you're using, whether it be patterned or plain, it needs to be 12 by 12. And first of all, what we're going to be doing is scoring at three inches, five inches, six and a half, and eight and a half. Oh, and then 11 and a half, because that's the tab for the lid when it slots in. Then rotate it and you're going to score at three, but just down to the second score line. So go past that tab and come down to this second score line. Then at six, again, down to the second score line. And at nine, down to the second score line. Then flip it over so you've got the bottom now at the top and do the same again. Three, just down to the first score line this time because there is no tab, so it's to the first score line. Six down to the first score line and nine down to the first score line. Now it doesn't matter that the um, the score lines are different, this one's underneath, whereas these, because now we're going to flip it back and these are on top again. They're just cutting lines, they're not folding lines, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's all of the scoring with the scoreboard. Get rid of that, but keep your stylus. And with a ruler, we are now going to, so starting top, um, so you've got the tab, the half inch tab running along the top, and then you've got these four squares. This first line here is where we're going to be starting all of our scoring from. So with your stylus, pop it in the top left hand um, part here, okay? And then the ruler is going to line up with, let me just move that, with the top of these. So we've got these four at the bottom. So we're going to be scoring from there then we're going to miss this and then carry on scoring there. So let me just show you this first one. So with my ruler, pop my stylus at the top there, line my ruler up so it meets with that bottom piece and that, um, sorry, the top right hand side of this bottom square. And I'm going to score, first of all, to just this line here, okay? Then miss this whole section here and then carry on scoring from that second piece. Okay, so that is the scoring that you want. So you see I've missed that section. So again, on this side, now I'm gonna go from, so it's always within this, this square at the top, so we're gonna do the left, then we're gonna move over to the right-hand side, and this time line it up with the bottom left here, like so, and again, score down to that first score line, then miss that section, and then carry on down to the corner there. And you want to make sure you're getting your corners nicely joined and matched up so you create nice crease lines when we get to it. So can you see the effect we've got there? 
okay <clears throat> then move across to the next one so now so every time we're working within one of these boxes so now we're coming down just where we finished from that one we're going to start again put, pop our stylus down line up our ruler now down to this one here okay so across so again with my ruler go down to that first score line miss the middle section and then down like so and then across to the other side down miss the middle and then continue so again now you can see that effect okay and then one to the third square now again miss the middle and then join up and again there miss the middle and then the very last one exactly the same but you're just joining it right up to the very end of your card okay down to that score line miss the middle and then the last one and then miss that middle okay so that is all of the scoring that you should have now i will have a template drawn up on my blog okay so if you want to um, have a look at that as well just so you know exactly where you are um, then that's good okay so um now we can what i'm going to do is i'm going to decorate um a lot of this well actually no i forgot we've got more score lines and then we can decorate it now we need to just join up so where we've got the bottom here we're going to join up that one to the top of this one and then that one to the top of that one so we're going to create this little rectangle which is that this piece here okay so i'm just joining again make sure those score lines all meet up see what i've done there okay so i've just put a score line from the bottom so you're creating like a bow if i put it that way it looks like a big bow bow tie okay that's the, the shape that you want so again move on to the next one so you're just putting these little lines in like so okay so now we can do some burnishing so first of all start from that tab that half inch tab at the very top get that one done then the next one like so and then we can we'll do the other ones in a minute we don't need to worry about that now okay so you need to have let me just grab my scoreboard back out so i can just go through all the bits so if you are decorating like i have or you might want to do certain bits you may just want to do the, the band through the middle and decorate like that you may just want to do these the bow tie look you may just want to decorate that bit so like i said have a play around but this piece here is for the very top so you just need one piece that is two and five eighths of an inch squared then to do those um, tiny little rectangles that we've just created so these bits here these pieces of pattern paper measure five eighths of an inch by one and a quarter and you need four of them again this will all be listed in my blog then you need these are for this bit here so these bigger rectangles in the middle these measure one and seven eighths of an inch by one and a quarter okay oh and then to do these shapes here you will need eight rectangles that measure two and a half by one and five eighths of an inch okay now to make our um, tab here we're going to be using the pieces that we cut out here okay right so just doing a little bit of cutting first to make these shapes here which are going to sit nicely in all of these ones here so i've already done a few but basically what you want to do is okay so pop your ruler along the bottom it should be two and a half come up a bit more there actually okay and you're going to come in at seven eighths of an inch and just put a little pencil mark and again seven eighths of an inch 
coming in from this side here and do a little mark and then just join those pencil marks like so you only need to do this on one piece of those eight pieces because then we will trace over around it trace over around it trace around it so now just cut that out we'll cut along the lines even a little bit crooked there there we go and then on another piece of it because you'll have now seven of these left with this piece pop it over the top and just draw without going wonky just draw pencil lines like that and then do that on all the other pieces and then just cut them so it's much much easier to do it that way rather than measure seven eighths of an inch in on each of those um, eight pieces so I'd already prepared all my other bits so now I've got eight pieces that are that shape okay so now we can stick all of these pieces on so first of all I'm going to use the four big rectangles so they are going to go here here and here now the one left over you'll have to stick last because that's on this join so that's half of it there and half of it there so just keep that to one side and then these will all go like so I think this is such lovely foiled paper I really really like this pattern and against that paper it matches up so well like so so you can see this fab design coming together and then these tiny little ones will go in those gaps and you will have a nice little one eighth of an inch pretty much border around all of those pieces okay and then that one we will put on last and I'll tell you which square we need to pop that on and like I said those ones will be done so I'm going to go ahead now and get all that stuck down okay so that is now um, pretty much decorated so once we start folding that will all really start to look effective so what you need to do is very carefully start on the edge here and you want to just bend down along that one that score line there okay and then that will naturally then start to fold across the straight line there and then again across that one okay so that's one piece done then move along to the next one and again fold this one down pinch them along and then we'll cut up the tops and the bottoms in a minute and then we can go in with our bone folder and really get them nice and crisp like so okay so already now they're starting to lift a bit more so now with our scissors we just need to go along starting from the bottom so this is just the plain four squares you just want to cut up each of these and just take off the lumpy score line we're not going to um, take any wedges out of them because we want a nice flush base so by just taking off these little bits that will be enough so I'm just cutting up each side of the score line and then just removing that whole piece you can see there the gap that it gives me then flip it around and we're going to cut down all of these ones again okay so I've just done simple cuts with them I haven't cut the score line out as such because we're going to be cutting some of these away and other bits of it as well so basically when this goes together like so this is going to be the back and we're going to be joining that up in a minute so bring that around so it's on the back here's the front okay so this one here fold down we're going to cut that one off completely okay so just very neatly all the way along that score line and with this piece here we're going to make our little hinge to keep it all together okay so if you're lying it down it's the third one in from the left or the second one in from the right so now again bring it around this one here is going to be the the main lid and this little lip here is what's going to fold in so with these two here so this one first I'm going to cut down about halfway okay so just cut across there this is halfway in the square not including that so just pretend that's not there halfway in between the main square and just cut along there okay so again make sure keep putting it together if you forget remember that's the back 
this is the front with the piece we've cut away that piece is going to come down we want to do the same now with this piece so again about halfway like so then with these two smaller ones you just want to take not a massive wedge but just come in about one eighth of an inch there and just take the little wedges out like so and then with this piece here you just want to very slightly take a sliver off and I think I end up taking a bit more off but we'll do that when we actually come to put it all together properly then with this piece now you can sit that neatly on the top of that square okay so that's all stuck down now so what I've just done is with the piece that we cut out of here so that bigger piece to be fair you can do it with these ones as well which are off the tops of these ones here keep that because that's obviously for all these bits here but you want to cut two pieces that are two and three quarters long by half an inch wide and then along that half inch side you want to score it a quarter of an inch right down the middle there so you're just going to make these little quarter inch wide hinges and basically because the distance of this is five and a half so by doing these two two and three quarter ones that gives us our five and a half inch hinge it just means that we're using the whole width of this card which is what I wanted and by doing it this way you get the exact same match so if you are a little bit not too good maybe doing this or it's because it's quite a it's not hard at all but it's just um, you, you need to make sure it lines up at least if you've got the exact colour you will it, it will be hard to notice and it's at the back so we're going to flip this over and just on one side of both of the hinges just going to run some glue okay like so and then this score line in the middle of your hinge needs to line up with the edge here so I'm just going to sit it down and then fold it in half okay so fold it in half and just make sure it's completely lined up like so so if I bring that up there you can see I folded it in half it lines up perfectly with the side so when you look at it this way you can't see it all right so that's what you want to do there and this is just the way to maximize your card so if you ever you know you're making a handbag you'll see you know I've done it quite a few times I'll make this extra hinge so I can maximize that card so again with this piece you want to kind of butt it up now to the very bottom of that hinge again fold it over make sure it sits perfectly along the edge there again you can see what I've done now and you can't see that I've got a little bit of glue but you can't see them at all now when I fold them over okay so now Pop the glue on the other side of the hinge. And do both pieces because you, you it, it just becomes one piece now. It doesn't matter that it's it, it is two halves. Um, it will still work perfectly, like so. And then bring this one over, and you can't fold this flat because there is no straight kind of side. So you just have to pinch. See what I'm doing here? Just pinching. You want to make sure that your score lines here and on this side all marry up and just pinch that all together until you're happy that it's all stuck and get rid of any glue and then kind of pop it out and lie it down like so. And you can see now I've got a perfect join. So that is that. Now with that last piece of that rectangle detail I can just stick down across there. Again make sure that's all nicely lined up in the centre like so. So that is now all coming together. So again so this is the front that's the back where we've just joined it fold all that in there and we're, we need to take a little bit off this again because this is on an angle 
so as soon as that goes in it can't go in straight because this uh, because this score line here so we'll do that in a minute this piece here is going to go down last on the base so you want to put this back sorry um, it doesn't well to be honest it doesn't really matter I'm going to go with the side first okay this left hand side then I'm going to put glue all on the bottom here and because we um, took off those little bits of the score line you shouldn't get anything overhanging that one then put some glue on the bottom of this one and this is what now is going to make this a really really strong base to our box because like I said there's four pieces now going over this and then that last one and this glue dries nice and hard last one you can see there I've got nothing overhanging turn it over grab your ruler and just make sure that all lies nice and flat and automatically the box falls into the shape that it is designed to, to do which is great so now what we need to do is just you want to come in now and wedge them a bit more but I don't really go right to the top of that score line I kind of leave a little bit just to help kind of wedge it a little bit like so and there's your box gorgeous so now I've got two really lovely kind of new design I guess because I've not seen this one I've made it all up myself these cool faceted gift boxes so there you have it so i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial as always um, if you did please give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye